Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Mika, Mystic Madame. Yes, I'm back with another video for you guys. And for the ones who are new to this channel, if you like what you see, stick around, baby. Like, subscribe, leave a comment down below, and also share my video. And do not, the most important thing you wanna do is turn on that notification button. So every time I upload a video, you would definitely be notified. I'm here today to bring you a new product review. <laughs> Makeup, baby. <laughs> what else is new? <laughs> anyway, no. So I was hoping that I can be able to review three items for them because I love, you see, I love eyeshadow palettes. And they have a sick eyeshadow palette. They have two called The Notebook. And I think the other one is called Crown Case or something. But the name of the company is Crown Case, I believe. Let me just look at that. Right here. Yes, The Crown Case. They have two other eyeshadow products palettes I wanted to get. Unfortunately, they are killing it right now in the make on the makeup scene. And so a lot of their products were sold out. Um, but guys, I got my box uh, a couple days ago and just like right now, I'm opening it. So you see right now I'm opening the box. Excuse me if I rip the box open like a savage, but <laughs> I did open it a little bit just to check it out, but I didn't really open it, you know? So I just went, uh, and then put it back. But, but this is what I have. What's what I was able to buy so far because like I said, they were sold out like crazy. And if it looks, if my makeup still look like it's not completely done, it's not really because the products that I'm going to review and I'm going to try out is there's, they have a setting powder, powder I believe. I, they call it, it's a setting powder, but it's called, it's from the Crown Case. Again, that's the name of the company, the product line. That That's the name of the company and they have different products, but they named it, I guess, after like school kids stuff. Like the, the palettes that I wanted to get was like one was a notebook. And I can't think of the other one, but both of them were sold out. Like a lot of their products were sold out. That's how you know a company is doing their damn thing. But as soon as I find out, I will be getting that palette too. Because I got to try that one. That one is, yeah. Those colors are sick. But I just want to see how it looks on my skin and my skin tone. Because every makeup product, just because it might be a, you know, big time, a uh, beauty influencer or a big time star, it doesn't mean that their particular product is gonna work for you. So you just you need to understand that. Everything don't work for everybody. But this is what I got to, that's why I wanna try this out. And guys, I don't know, it's the crown case. And it's called Chalk Dust Setting Powder. So I went to the, I try to match myself the best way I can off of, um, their website off of females, I guess other makeup artists, so I'm not sure, beauty influencers, based on their skin tone and just matching and say, okay, well, she's more my skin tone. Okay, she tried, because the thing about it is that their skin tone setting powders, they go by the alphabets. So you have A, which is a, I guess, um, well, A, I guess, would be more my, my, I would think it'd be my skin tone. I'm hoping it is because the girl that I was looking at, I believe it was her. It was two girls. So this is why I'm, this is why I'm having a dilemma on this one because both of them was brown my shade. One maybe was made a little lighter, one was a little darker. Um, and I think it was a C. I want to, I think I want to say it was a C, but it was another alphabet. And one of the girls represent that alphabet and then the other girl represent this alphabet. But the other one was sold out. So like I said, they have a lot of products that is, if you go on the website, it might still be sold out. I'm gonna go back on it myself and check to see if anything has came back in stock, especially the palettes that I wanted to purchase from them. But I'm gonna try this out, their chalk setting palette, because, you know, it took forever to get to me. <laughs> That's how, I mean, it, you know, but people will wanna try it. So they was like really trying to get it out. She was in communication with me, they let me know you know, every step of the way where it was at with my product. And I or purchased two things. It wasn't like I needed it right this second. You know, I have a lot of makeup and stuff, but 
I still was anxious to try it. So I'm just glad it's finally here. So another good product that I heard good reviews about from them is their Glow. Now, I don't know. I never tried a rose uh, highlighter. So I might just figure out to see if that works for me as well. It's called Rose Glow. Uh, Rose Glow Wiz, I think it's, that's how you say it. Glow Res. Um, I wanna say that's how you pronounce it. Rosy Glow Wiz, the highlighting powder. So, those are the two that I got. So you got to see, and this is the box that came in. Of course, you see my order receipt. This video is not sponsored. But hey, the crowd case, if you like my video, Hit me up. It's a black owned business. So, you know, I want, definitely want to support, you know, my black sisters and brothers that's trying to do the damn thing in this beauty industry because it is a billion dollar industry. So while we can't, our skin color, you know what I'm saying? I'm minorities, Latin, Latin, our Latin spices and our black beauties. Why we can't get in and get in, get in when we fit in and make that money, right? So that's why I was very enthusiastic about trying a product. And, you know, and just supporting them. So, those are the two I have, and let's get into this video. First one, I'm gonna use is the setting powder. Ooh, okay. I keep, I always wanna twist the, 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 the cap. I keep forgetting you gotta actually go like this. It looked like, it, it like it would be a twist cap, but it's not. So, so it comes like this. This is what it looked like inside. It has a little pad. This is what it looks like. And what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna dab this a little bit out. Because I don't know how it looks yet. I'm gonna dab a little bit out. And I'm gonna try to see how it looks on my on my my skin. I'm just gonna, and I know y'all see my little scars. Beautifully flawed, honey. I've had some surgeries in my life. <laughs> so I'm just gonna dab it right here. And I just want to see how it bakes in my skin. I'm going to dab it. See how it bakes. So, I'm going to be waiting on that to bake a little bit in my skin. I'm going to try their highlighter. Make sure I got it. I, oh, I'm gonna be doing another video too, guys. Um, let me use my small angle brush because I know exactly what I'm gonna be using for this highlighter. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do another video, guys, on how to clean my brushes. And that video, if you like it, make sure you tag Jayla. Corian on that one because she did a video, a vlog, and she was cleaning her brushes. <laughs> and she had a lot of brushes and she was tired. So I got a good video coming out and that will be probably about the week and you'll get that one that I want everybody to stay tuned for. You're gonna like that one. But anyway, the highlighter one. Let's see here. So by the way, for those um, that came through, just letting you know, guys, please make sure y'all send some love to um, Nipsey Hussle's family, Lauren London, you know, his son. It's just so sad that this young man, you know, I call him young man because he, like, he only was like 33. And for somebody to, to do that, it's just, it's just evil. Yeah, it's an evil world out here. But rest in peace, rest in peace, Nipsey Hussle. And, my condolences go out, truly go out to his family. So please guys, show some love. When a child has to grow up without their father, you know, his son is still a baby, you know, and it just, it's sickening to me. But guys, just, we gotta pray, you know, the world we live in today. But yeah, huns, my thick madams, this is what the highlight looks like. It's looking good, right? And it's going good on my skin, so. See, I was a little worried that because it was pink, it was going to look a little funny, but it bakes well in the skin. So it, it might look pink, I guess, inside the bottle, inside the um the, the jar, but it, when you put it on, the way I just put it on just now, it bakes very well. So it's like, it just blends in with the brown skin. So this is gonna be nice. Ooh. 
y'all. Okay, honey. All right, so. So for the powder, I don't know. I'm having mixed feelings about the powder. I'm feeling like, you know, I mean, I think mean because I'm in love with my Fenty setting powder, a Fenty Beauty. But I think also it's because, I mean, I feel like it's an ashy feel on here. And maybe because it's, it's, it's baking, maybe I need more time for it to bake. Um, maybe just to dust it off. I'm just going to have to really put it on my face just to see because I'm not really getting that much. I mean, I see it and I got a lot of guys see it right here. But I really can't get a real end result. Like the like the highlighter, I, I know already just by swatching it on my on my arm, I can see, okay, the highlight is going to be, you know, it's going to be a good, a good fit for my face. I'm going to have to put on my face and just see how it works out. So, And like I said before, it might be because this might be a little too light and maybe the other shade would have been dark. But like I said, that one was sold out. So I just said, you know what, let me just go with this one. Race Chris scenario, it just don't work. Or I just had to blend it with another powder just to get it darker. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna put it here because my you see how shiny my face is. So I'm hoping that it will just Ooh, ooh, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Listen, we all make mistakes. <laughs> I thought I got all the asset powder off of here. Okay, you know what it is? It's not gonna work because my little wide nostrils <laughs> is just getting in the way. I might have to probably contour my nostril again. <laughs> But yeah, I'm just trying to dab it right there. Yeah, this one's much better because it didn't keep hitting me. That brush I had was all wrong because it just kept hitting the side of my nostril. <laughs> so, let me look in the mirror and see him, guys. It's not bad because it's really not, it's taking a lot of that sh extra shiny stuff off my face. So that's not bad, okay. That's why I said, let me put it on my face because, you know, I wasn't really getting, I mean, now I'm starting to see it baking more into my skin, but again, my my arm don't have primer on it. It doesn't have certain products that I already put on my face on here. I already have product on my face, um, like my foundation, my concealer. So I figured, you know what, sometimes, I know when people swatch, that's, you know, that's all good, but sometimes you won't really get a, to me, my opinion, you won't really, really get a, a result of what, you know, for the colors, it's great, because like I said, the highlighter just went on, but for baking powder, I mean, setting powder, you know, I wanted to really see how, how much it was, if you blend a lot with my skin, if it's the same tone. It's not, but it's like a translucent. I mean, I see people that get by the banana shade and you're like, okay, it's too light, but then it bakes well in the skin. And I, and I especially our skin tone, our brown skin tone. So I'm like, you know what? The best thing to do is to put it on my face because I already have the product that I need in my face. And it's supposed to, what it's supposed to do right now is set my face, setting powder so my face won't move. And now it did, it is a big difference, even though I haven't got this section right here. But you remember, all this is still shiny, and I have oily skin, so I can see a difference with just putting it on, and it's like, you know, it's it looks different. You know, it's not that shiny, but it has a glow. You know, it don't look like a grease monkey, but I have a glow. So, we're getting somewhere. I'm just gonna have finish it up. And I'll be right back, guys. Okay, guys, so I put the other side on. And I'm liking it because my face is not as shiny as it was. If you remember the first time I put it on, before I put it on, you saw my face was shiny because I knew I was going to, you know, I had the other products on and I didn't put no setting powder on because I knew I was going to try this powder. So I'm liking it. It's going well so far. I'm, you know, you know, I, I, I think I can get away with the other powder as well, the little darker one, because the little darker one is exactly the Fenty color. Uh, Fenty Beauty one I have, which is this one, and like I said, I reviewed that in another video that you already saw about now, by the time this goes up, that video will be up already, but yeah, so, you know, this one is a little darker, if you see, but I can blend it too, you know, could be creative and blend it if I want to, but I definitely can bake in this, so I definitely like that, and um, no, I'm gonna try to 
Let's see, I have my translucent powder. I get a little more of that look I wanted to more contour area in this area. So, let's see. And I'm just using our the Revlon translucent powder, photo ready one. I do over here. I'm trying to do it on my camera. <laughs> oh. I want to take these earrings off, but it's so hard to put them inside the loop again. I'm just like, you know what? Just leave them on <laughs> and we'll work around it. So guys, I'm just letting the translucent bake a little more into my skin. Cause I wanted a more defined look right here. And I got the fat cheekbones, <laughs> fat cheeks, puffy cheeks. I love my I love my high cheekbones. So as my weight go down, you'll see they they come in more on my face, but I always have fat cheeks. <laughs> so yeah, that's what I'm doing for that. And um I'm using my little my this name for blush just a little bit because I'm gonna get ahead and go in with the highlighter. So I like to go with like a warm blush. And just so you know, I'm using my my Morphe there to create. I'm gonna just use a little bit of that just for as a blush. I'm gonna just put it right in the molds of my cheeks and dab them up. Now, the look is coming together yet, so don't judge me yet. I haven't finished blending it in. <laughs> I know you guys are, well, it's too much. Calm down. Relax. The look is going to come together, okay? <laughs> okay. I got to take some more off this one. Just going in and fixing it because I know it's a little rosy and red. But when I go back in with the setting powder, I buff everything up so it don't look too rosy. So maybe that's not how everybody does on YouTube. All the beauty, beauty blenders and beauty gurus. But look, I've been wearing makeup for years, and when I bring it together, it always looks good. So again, I'm going back in with the powder because now it's baked already. So I just want to go back in and just bring the look together. I'm going to just use a little bit of my uh, bronzer. And then I'm going to do the final product, which is the highlighter. So guys, I'm just going to put this in. And we're going to just blend it all together. You see? Don't look too red. You don't look too red. But it's a nice warmth to that one. That's why I use it sometimes for blush. So. I'm going to get on the side because this one is the one that had more product. So we're going to make sure it blends and it's not looking. It's looking the same way the other side is, looks. So I like that. Let's get the head. Let's get the head. Cause the head looking a little shiny. <laughs> Gonna go in and I wanna just um put some bronzer on. Bring some, I guess I want to say warmth back in my face. Gold, 
undertones in my face. These are the ones I use. It's just Bronze Booster. Booster, that's what it says. I don't know if that's the name of the company, but it's Glow Boosting 2-in-1 Bronzer and it's a highlighter. So that's why I like it. But we're gonna just use the bronzer but not because I wanna use this highlighter. So I'm gonna go over here in this section and leave the highlighter alone. Which is still gonna end up getting because you know, like I said, it's old. <laughs> so I'm probably still gonna have some of that gold list on my hair, on my face. Yes, I bronze all this area. <laughs> Don't come for me. You know. I'll be trying to bronze everything. I'm not an expert. <laughs> I don't feel nobody is a 100 expert. Either professionals can screw up. But everything comes with trial and error. You know, doing makeup is just come with trial and error. What looks good. And you just keep experimenting on what looks good. What looks good on you and you know what to do on next time. I mean, yeah, you take pointers from makeup artists. You take pointers from um, other people that do makeup. But, you know, we all it's, we, all, we all can learn something new. So I find it to be like I get better at something when I just keep practicing. And I think that's for everybody, everybody you know. And, um, but I think I tend to be sometimes a perfectionist. So sometimes I take forever to <laughs> finish my makeup. Because I want everything to look flawless. So, yeah. And I'm always worried about what it looks like on camera, you know. So, like right now, I feel like this area of my shadow is looking like it's too faded on camera. It don't like that in the mirror, but you know what? I don't want you guys to think it's like that. <laughs> so, I go back in and I just... Fade a little more because I feel like when I put on other this products, you know, my I have no eyebrows. So people that know right now, I really have no eyebrows. Like my eyebrows just went somewhere and they just have never came back. <laughs> I don't think they planning to come back. So you know, I don't know when they when they they left. <laughs> I don't know why they left. <laughs> it wasn't like I was getting like my eyebrows waxed every other day or something. Like I barely even got it waxed like that every month because. When I get them waxed, the lady that waxes my eyebrows, she did such a good job. She, you know, it was nice and it was thick, but it was the way she did it, it just, it just lasts. So all I did was just pretty much fill them in every day and just, to, you know, we make them, you know, make this more defined. But I don't know what happened. I, after I had my baby, my hair started falling out. Girls tend to make your hair fall out when you're pregnant. I don't know about boys, but I know, see what I mean? Girls make my hair fall out. And my hair was shed. My hair still sheds a little bit. But it's getting better. You know, it's all natural now. It's getting better. But yeah, after I had my daughter, my hair just got thinner and my eyebrows got thin. And now I have no eyebrows like that. So guys, don't judge me. But or as you see, I have to make that. I have to make those. And make it look like it's really sparse hair right there. So... For my situation, I think I do a hell of a good job. So, you know. And some days are better than others. Some days my eyebrows be really on fleek. Like the other day, my eyebrows were on fleek. And some days they're challenging doing these shits. <laughs> but yeah, guys, um, I'm gonna go ahead and put this highlighter on. And let's see how that looks. Turn it this way. I don't want it like a harsh line. I like it.
Yeah, I like this. I can rock with this. Everything to the right is the worst for me. <laughs> Line, so I'm trying to feather it away a little bit. So the highlight would just blend in. No, I'm just a harsh. Because I've seen people do a highlighter and sometimes you be like, what the hell? Like, okay, the highlight is cute, but why you have the line? Like, I don't want to see where it starts and stop at. Like, I just don't like that. I and mean, then that works for some people. They If that, that's work for them, that's what they like. I personally don't like that. I like to be able to... You know, like when I turn different angles, I don't want you to see where my highlighter, a harsh line where my highlighter stops and begins at. I don't like that. I mean, it just don't work for me. So I try to just feather it out a little bit. I can see myself go crazy on this damn highlighter. I can see it. I truly can see that because I love a good highlighter and this highlighter is the shit. <laughs> Excuse my expression, honeys. I hope you look kiddies ain't watching this, but it is. The crown case, oh, y'all did your thing on this highlighter. I am loving this freaking highlighter. I, I know already I'm going to be using this highlighter. You see me going in, I'm going in on my eyeshadow with this damn highlighter. I'm doing it, I'm doing it. I'm, I'm like, look. I'm loving it. Look at, look at this shit. Do you see this? This highlighter is the freaking bomb. Like, who told y'all? Wait till I pop the lashes on. The lashes is gonna give just give it a whole freaking other look. I don't know. <laughs> it's gonna give it a whole other look. And I'm gonna just put it up here. Look. I think I wanna say Tokyo is part owner of this company. I was watching Love and Hip Hop the other day. That's a that's a show I will watch. I will if I don't catch it, why is that I will get ahead and put it on a uh, record and <laughs> watch it later when I catch up to it. But I believe she's a, a owner. She owns this company. She owns this makeup line, or she's part owner. I'm not mistaken. But I think she does, or she has a makeup collection with them. But if you do, girl, and this is yours, I'm gonna check more into it. Let you guys. I'm gonna do more of my research. But if you do, girl, you did your damn thing. Okay, you. you this is up there with Miss, with Miss Rihanna's products. So I'm loving this. And I'm not just saying that because I just want to get on your good grace. Because I really don't know y'all. But I like it. And I like it. I like the highlight. I'll be honest. I like it. I love it more, even more than the setting powder. The setting powder, I don't mind having it in my possession. But can I do without it? Mm, yeah, I can. I have other setting powders. It's not like I have to have it. But this highlighter, oh, I have to have this. And I will be buying other ones from y'all. Because this is, oh, this, this is just, I cannot believe this highlighter right now. That is beautiful. That is completely beautiful. Never think that it's gonna go on the way it does. It's gonna apply and it just melts into the skin so it don't go on as, you know, just a pink highlighter, you know? A harsh pink highlighter. Rose pink highlighter. It goes on and it melts into, I feel like it melts into whatever type of skin tone you have. That's what I'm getting from this. Because it still has that rose, it has that red champagne color, but it still have a gold color to it. It's, it's, you definitely have gold under, in, um, undertones in it. I think it has some gold and maybe some silver, I wanna say, but this highlighter is the shit. <laughs> is the bomb girl the bomb.com all right so i'm gonna pop on my lashes set my face and just put a little bit lipstick on and i'll be right back okay guys so this is the final look that came together 
I'm hoping you like it. I like it. I mean, I really love the highlights. And this is the um, the rosy glow rays. Glow rays, I think it is, is pronounced. We're going to say it's glow rays. <laughs> rosy glow rays. And that is the highlighter. And it comes off, again, on your skin, you know, I, I think on a brown skin, it gives that glow effect. It just, it melts in the skin. So, I don't know, I want to say transparent highlighter. Because I don't know how it would look on a more lighter tone person. I like it. <laughs> I also like the setting powder. The chalk dust setting powder. Um, do I, can I absolutely live without it? Yes. Um, will I try the other shade that was sold out? Yes, definitely. So I just had to try, you know, get my hands on something so I can check it out, you know, see what the buzz is about and see if I like, you know, any of the products. And I do. I absolutely love it. I mean, y'all doing, yeah, doing a hell of a great job with your products. Um, black owned company. So please go to the Instagram page. I believe it's the crown case. I will put the information in the description box. And you can check them out yourself, their Instagram page. A lot of people tag their photos in there with beautiful looks. So if you want to get inspired and maybe recreate a few looks for yourself um, on their Instagram page, there's a lot of artists, makeup artists, maybe makeup influencers that post a lot of their tag their pictures onto their page so they can, you know, show what they did with their palettes, um, their setting powders and highlights. So... Uh, hopefully we'll do be doing the same thing as well. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and tag my picture on there as well. And hopefully they'll post it. I don't know. They got so many. So. But, guys, great company. Black-owned company. They're doing their best. Good customer service. They keep in contact with you. You know, by email, you know, which is the best way. Nine days, you know, email and text is the best way to communicate with people most of the time. You ain't gonna get too many people on the phone <laughs> during the day. So they didn't need to do that. As long as they, as long as they communicate with me somehow, they did. They, they communicate with me by email just to let me know the status of my order and that, you know, they haven't forgot about me. They know I paid for <laughs> an order from them. I don't know. My face is just looking it's snatched, but then I feel like, I don't know. I'm just, I'm sorry, guys. It's the lighting on here. It just feel like I didn't blend my contour in on my nose. But my face look my nose looks snatched a little bit. <laughs> but my nose is always my problem area. But anyway, um yeah, black owned company. Check them out. Good products. And I guess try to go on their wait list. I think I think I'm on their wish list or email list. So when the other palettes come in and they're back in stock, they'll let you know. So but yeah, guys, that's about it for this video. So until the next time, guys, I'm going to say, as, as I always say, stay blessed, stay beautiful, as always. Smooches! I see some good reviews. Ooh. Okay. That was not supposed to happen. <laughs> we'll edit that out. <laughs>